Hello, fellow reading warriors, and welcome to the first spooky video for this Halloween. So I realized that I'm really late to the game and that I am filming this on October 10. So we're already over a week into October, but things have been a little busy at school lately. Um, but this video is going to be kind of my TBR for the next couple of weeks up until like Halloween spooky season. Um, I am going to, as you can tell by the name of this video, going to participate in the Spooktober Readathon. Um, I will have the announcement video linked down below. Um, the person who created it is it's Vanessa over at Paper Fairy, so definitely be sure to check out the video for more of the instructions um, because I will just be going through what I'm participating in. So for a lot of these books, I'm trying to get them all to be spooky, but not all of them are going to be completely spooky or like completely fantasy, but we're gonna definitely try. Let us get started. <laughs> I'm excited, can you tell? So this readathon is actually going to be all month long, which is why I am late to starting the readathon, but at the same time, I have plenty of time to do it. And the theme for the readathon, other than Spooktober, Spooky October Halloween, is that it is a house party. It's a haunted house party. The idea is that because of quarantine and the coronavirus, we are not, some of us are not able to go out and celebrate Halloween as we used to, and so they're creating their own little bookish version all month long and they have had Instagram challenges and they have movie nights over Twitter um, so be sure to like check those out it is getting kind of late for those because they're only doing it for the first 13 days but hey it's still cool to look at and still pretty like fun to see what unique ideas and concepts they came up for how they have it set up is that they have a bunch of different activities and elements of the haunted house party that you can participate in and each Element has different activities which each has their own prompt. So you can go through and you can choose from all different kinds of prompts and you can choose what you're going to do, what book you're going to use to fulfill it and everything like that. So I will not be doing all the prompts. I will just, because I, I can't, even if I was studying this on time I wouldn't be able to do all the prompts. Um, so I'm just going to go through the ones that I've selected that I'm going to do but for a full list be sure to check out that. Um, announcement video uh, over at Paper Fairy by Vanessa. The first thing, the first element of this house party is obviously the costume contest, costume party. There are different kinds of costumes that you can do based off of what book you read. Uh, the one that I have chosen is that I'm going to do a fantasy costume and I'm going to read a fantasy book uh, to complete that, and I'm going to read Before She Ignites by Jodie Meadows. I meant to read this a little while back, and I just didn't quite get to it, but it is a very interesting fantasy book about someone who finds out something that they shouldn't know and how that affects the story going forward. I'm not going to give very in-depth uh, reviews of these books because A, I haven't read them yet so I don't know it, and B, this is going to be a really long video, so I'm just trying to cut down, but so this is what I'm going to read for my fantasy costume. Um, I'm hoping that there's a small romance element in here because one of the other prompts was be like part of a couple's costume and you would read a romance novel for it. And I, I want to do that, but I want to do like a fantasy one, so I prioritize fantasy over romance, but I'm hoping that like this has a little bit of romance. Then I managed to do a couple's cosplay or a couple's costume with my husband. Not like he's going to be reading or anything, but just in my head. So then next I'm going to move over to the refreshments table and I'm going to have a couple of different prompts at the refreshments table at this party. I'm so excited. I love food. So I'm hoping to fulfill three of the refreshment prompts. The first one being Devil's Food Cake. And the prompt for this one is to read a book with a mostly black cover. And the book I have chosen for this is Carol Ball by Stephanie Garber. Um, this is uh, the first of a trilogy that the third one just came out and it was really big and really popular and it's kind of the idea of there is uh, Carol Ball which is this big um, celebration kind of party thing and there's this big game that happens but I think someone's younger sister gets kidnapped or the game takes it way too far. So I'm excited to read that. 
Then also I'm gonna work my way over to the candy bowl. I mean, come on, it's Halloween. You can't go through it and not have some sort of candy. And the prompt for that one is to read a novella or a graphic novel. And so I've decided to read in real life a graphic novel by Cory Doctorow and Jen Wang. I'm excited to read this. I just bought this, it just came in the mail. Um, and it's about this girl who's like super shy in real life, but then like when she goes online, she becomes this whole cool, like badass person. And so I am super excited to read that. Um, just a quick little trip to the candy bowl. And the final refreshment is eyeball soup. Read a book with a cover you can't stop eyeballing. And for that, I'm reading a book that I meant to read last year but didn't get to, so I'm going to read it this year, and that is Dracula by, uh, by Bram Stoker. And like, you see this cover? You see, like, this cover for this edition? Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's... It's perfect for Halloween. It's a classic. It's Dracula and the cover is just gorgeous. So eyeball soup. Yum. Next we're gonna move on to the dance floor and I have selected again three songs that I am just gonna boogie during and just like have a great time and the first one is going to be the Monster Mash. Of course, how can you not boogie during the Monster Mash? And so for dancing for the Monster Mash you have to read a book with a monster in it and I I don't think I'm stretching it, but I'm going to read The Summoning by Kelly Armstrong. This features a girl who can see ghosts. So the monster that I'm going for are ghosts in this book. So After that is going to be the song I Put a Spell on You, another good classic song that I love. And for that, it's to read a book with magic because, you know, spells, magic, makes sense. And so for that one, I'm going to read Spin the Dawn. I I know there's magic in this, it's, yeah, like everyone's been saying, it's Project Runway meets Mulan, uh, and it's by Elizabeth Wim, and she basically has this magic pair of scissors that helped her create amazing, beautiful pieces, so I put a spell on you, literally on the clothing that you're wearing. Haha, -ha, get it? And lastly, I'm going to jam out to the song Superstition, and no superstition. Uh, just as a tribute to my father for without him I probably wouldn't care for the song and so the prompt for that one is to read a book based off of folklore or mythology and so I am finally going to read A Song of Wraiths and Ruins by Roseanne A. Brown. This features uh, West African mythology and I'm super excited to read about it because I don't know, I know a little bit but not a lot about it and I definitely want to read more and so I feel like this book is just gonna be uh, gonna be great. So those are the three songs that I'm going to read books to have fun with. And then lastly are the festivities that we'll be putting on. So the other activities at the party and out of those I have selected two that I'm going to partake in. The first one being Carve a Jack-o-Lantern. And the prompt for that is read a book with a face on the cover. And I had plenty of options for this one but I decided to go with Star Daughter by Shveta Thakrar because obviously face for this jack-o'-lantern. I'm so sorry for the glare on everything. The apartment that I live in gets majority of its light from the windows that are right across the way but then that means there's a lot of glare like in my glasses on shiny books. So I'm going to read Star, by Star Daughter by Shveta Thakrar and this book is about a girl who is half star half human and she ends up Either she injures or someone injures her father and the only way to heal him is with star magic and so she has to ascend to the sky and ask for help to heal her father and then she ends up going into this competition or the stars make her do something dangerous and fun and this is based off of more uh, Hindu mythology um, so it could also work for superstition but I wanted to try and not double up on prompts so I do have one book per prompt, but you know, if I end up like not getting to it, then I can definitely double up. I still want to. So those are, hold up. So those are all the books on the TBR for Spooktober. That is my TBR. However, I will quick mention that there is one more book that I want to get to this spooky season, and that is Catherine's House by Elizabeth Thomas. This is a dark academia. Um, basically, you... If you get in, you sign the four years of your life to them and kind of do whatever, but then you're promised amazing success afterwards. So, like, 
Yeah, it's I, dark academia. It's great for fall because academia it's the first season. It's fall, school starts, but then it's like super dark, so it's great for spooky season. So this, I did not fit into one of the prompts for um, Spooktober, but it is another book that I really want to read. Um, so... And so that is my ginormous TBR. I am not going to read all of them just bec before Halloween at least. Like majority of them like you can see came from like this top shelf. And so like my bookshelf is like there are just so many of the books. <laughs> so many books and a lot of them are pretty chunky so I do not expect to read all of them. But I'm definitely going to try and I'm probably going to keep reading them past October just because so many of these books I just really wanted to read anyway. And so it's great that they were able to fit right into the Spooktober TBR readathon. I'm going to try and read one book per festivity um, so I can at least partake in everything so I can have my costume, I can dance, I can eat, and I can do a festivity. But I would like to try and do all the festivities, all the eating food, and all the dance songs that I want to. But we'll just see because I'm already starting late and there are so many books and they're all so big and I'm also a full-time student with four jobs. So we'll see how much I actually read but I'm seriously going to try. I don't think I'm going to vlog. Um, I, I do really want to do a spooky vlog or a fall vlog um, at some point this season just because, I don't know, I'm in the mood for doing a vlog. but. Life is pretty busy right now, so I don't know how much bookish content there would be. I did film um, some footage of me buying some of the spooky decorations, and I might include that in a bookshelf tour, or I might just put it as part of a fall autumnal vlog in the future. So stay tuned for that, because that's going to be coming up. Um, and I will have another video of spooky recommendations, so if you're sitting here trying to figure out your Halloween TBR, or if you're doing Spooktober, or if you're doing any other like spooky readathons, or you just want a spooky TBR, then I will have another video coming out decently soon of my recommendations of what I've read in the past that were really good for this season. So stay tuned for that, and honestly it would be easiest if you just subscribe for getting notifications when those videos come out so you don't even have to wait and look for it you'll just get a notification so subscribe hit the bell you'll know when those come out feel free to like this video if you're also doing spooktober readathon or just trying to read spooky books this season or if you actually like like the video and don't be afraid to comment down below what books you guys are reading for this spooky season um, also if you have a TBR set or if you're a mood reader just whatever book you're reading now or you want to read next because I would really love to hear from you guys and get some more recommendations. Um, so with that I'm going to wish you guys a happy spooky reading.